sir. How are you? How are you doing this morning? I'm fantastic. There you go. There you go. Enjoy, hey, guys. Appreciate it. Uh, North Tennessee. Okay. Yeah. You gonna stay for the game today? Uh, we are. You yes. wouldn't have it any other way, would you? Thank you. Hey. Now, if you have a camera, please feel free to take pictures of anything you want. You don't need my permission. Uh, now, the first stop is going to be the most important. It's called the bathroom. <laughs> Now, uh, the Braves are the longest continually operating Major League franchise. They began in Boston, 1871, moved to Milwaukee, Wisconsin in 1953, then coming to Atlanta, of course, uh, in 1966. Now, uh, if you guys will follow me, we're going to get the escalator around here. We're going to go all the way up to the top of the stadium, up to Xfinity rooftop. Here we go. called Xfinity Rooftop. <clears throat> now anybody can come up here during the game. We, we also lease the, this area. It's in two sections. We have the Cabana Club section right over here and this is the terrace section. You can lease either one, have a group over here if you like, or at the Cabana section. <clears throat> now if it's not leased, you can come over here, stay up here the whole game if you like. Uh, we have extended rooftop restaurant in here. You can come get your food. Even if we have groups up here, you can still go in and get your food up here, plus the Waffle House, which is right over here to the right. Now, if you're over at the Cabana, right over here, you have the Cabana section with all the games you can play. Big ball. Right around the corner on the wall, we have a track big screen TV that you can be watching the game while you're playing your games over here. And over on this side you get a great view, the battery, that you can also take pictures of. Now, right behind me you see the Omni Hotel which should be ready in the next month. Across the street we have Comcast. They're relocated their headquarters here. They'll have their labs here. That type of thing. And they're right across the street. Now, up on this area, you can also get a good view of the stadium down here. Right over here to the right, you see our Chick-fil-A cow. It was taken a few weeks out of uh, Turner Field and sent to the Mardi Gras section in Louisiana to be refurbished and brought here and put in the new ballpark. Now she, knows I said she, she doesn't do the tomahawk chop like she did at Turner Field but she's got a brand new matrix board. A lot more high tech than what you had at Turner Field. Now, also down here you can see we have the Home Depot Clubhouse where we also have the tools. You can go over there, get autographs, take your picture with the tools, <coughs> and you can also buy tickets up in that section. Also down here, which you'll be probably be able to see a little bit better when we go to uh, uh, the press box, you see the batter's eye. What it is, if everybody know what the batter's eye is, what it stands for? Well, I know the whole history of the batter's eye, so I'll probably tell you. Uh, when you're looking at dead center field, you don't see players or people running around in the stands that can distract the batter. 
So that's why they call it the batter's eye. <coughs> Years ago, before they ever started the batter's eye, at a place called Wrigley Field in Chicago, the Cubs used to give people white shirts that said in that particular area. And they gave them you know, free tickets uh, with the option of, during the game at certain times, they were to put those white shirts on and move around so it would distract the batter or whomever. <laughs> so MLB found out that, nah, we ain't gonna do this. No, nah, you, can't, you can't do it. So they made it, they called it the, batter, uh, the batter's eye. And people put, like in regular, they got the uh, Ivy uh, Turner Field. We had the sod farm. Here we have our, we have a waterfall, plus we have the water that shoots up 80 feet <clears throat> during the games. Now, next we're going to go down to the press box. All right, guys, everybody you follow me, we're going to go down to the uh, press box, okay? Here we go. Okay guys, now when we go in, right to our left, you'll see three a picture of three gentlemen, our old announcers, Pete, Skip, and of course the professor. Now, uh, we'll go around and we'll take a left. We'll go in, I'll let, I'll let you sit inside the press box. I'll tell you some more about uh, uh, some of the uh, facilities outside. Now, as you go in, you're gonna see all Sports Illustrated copies up on the on the wall, and the first one you'll see is, of course, has a picture of Eddie Matthews, who was our third baseman with the Milwaukee Braves, and he was on the cover of the first Sports Illustrated magazine that was ever made. So, if you guys will follow me, here we go. your credential media, newspaper, magazine reporter, uh, we have uh, press for the visiting team, <clears throat> all of those particular people will be up here during the games. Now, go down to the end of the hall, that's Braves Vision. That's where you see all these scoreboards, everything, they're operated from Braves Vision. Now we have 35 guys that work in Braves Vision that man and take care of all the videos, everything here at Suncrest Park. <coughs> now if you look directly in center field where it says 400 section, that's where you see of course like the batter's eye like I was talking about before. And uh, the waterfall will be on later and the water shooting up 80 feet in the air. You'll get to see that later. Everybody going to the game tonight, right? Oh, yeah. 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 That's cool. Tomorrow. Tomorrow, <laughs> too. That's just as good. We'll still be here. <laughs> if you look over at uh, right field, we have three sections. Up there where it says H&F Burgers, that's called Top of the Chop. Now, below it is the regular Chop House where it says the Silver Bullet. And at the bottom it says Coors Below the Chop. We're going to be kind of finishing up the tour down there. <coughs> now over here on the far left you see the Fisher's bullpen. Over there where it says State Farm, that of course is the Braves bullpen. Over here on the far left where it says Coca-Cola, that's the Coca-Cola section. Now if you have a ticket in that particular level, you get a little coupon that gives you a 20 ounce Coke. You can go under your seat. Now, right down here at the end, like I said, is where we have Braves Vision. Next to it is Braves Television. I'm sorry, Braves Radio, where we have, of course, Don Sutton, Mr. Jim Powell, and of course, uh, Grandma Giffen, of course, who's our uh, head technician in there. Next to it is Braves Television, where we have. Uh, 
Joe Simpson, Chip Carey, and of course, from time to time, uh, Tom Glavin will be, he'll be sitting in the center in Braves Vision. I, I'm sorry, in the Braves Television. Then we have next to it, we have Visting TV, then Visting Radio, and then we have, of course, the Press Box. Guys, next we're going to go down to uh, the Hank Aaron Terrace. <coughs> 41,000. We went from 41, well, 41,000 to Turner Field was 50,000, and Atlanta Fulton County Stadium was 52,000. But we are on a cantilever built here to where the stadium more angled and everything is closer to the playing action on the field. What are they doing with the old turn? Uh, Georgia State University owns Turner Field now. It's being turned into a soccer slash football stadium. Across the street, they'll have parking, then across from that will be their uh, new three to 5,000 seat baseball park that they're building. Uh -huh. Then they'll have dormitories, that type of thing. Uh -huh. All Georgia State. Mm -hmm. All Georgia State. It's in construction now. It should be finished, uh, they say, by 2018. Hmm. What's the capacity of the baseball field? This one? No. Oh, uh, at, at Georgia State. Georgia State, well, they're not using Turner Field as their baseball. That's soccer. They're building a new one, but what's the Right, it's going to three to 5,000. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Don't be over where the blue lot was, where they used to use for buses for parking. Now this is the Hank Aaron Terrace. Now. We hope can hold up to 300 people in here. Uh, this is, of course, already leased out for the whole season. So the only way you're going to get in here is if you're on a tour or if you buy a what's called a scavenger hunt. Uh, if you come in during the uh, the game, you, the the Braves will also sell you a scavenger hunt uh, paper that. They'll let you come in here just to take a picture of the Hank Aaron 715 bat and ball, and then you have to leave. Uh, you're not allowed to eat in here or drink unless you have a ticket for uh, Hank Aaron Terrace. Now, this is also an all-you-can-eat section. Now, back at Turner Field, we had an all-you-can-eat and drink section. Well, here it's not. It's just an all-you-can-eat section. All your food, of course, is free. Now, uh, it does serve alcohol, but it's, you know, you have to pay for it, sorry. <laughs> now, right over here, you see, of course, they just put this in yesterday. Uh, kind of like a ball head of Mr. Aaron. Behind it, you see the back ends of 750 bats with the location and which one that Mr. Aaron hit during his career to break 715. Now behind me here, you see the actual 715th bat and ball that Mr. Aaron, of course, hit the home run to break Bay Bruce record. But this is very similar to our 755 club that we had at Turner Field. Very similar. Uh, with the seats down here, sitting on the outside. But like I said, this is all sold out for the whole season. Now, out here to my right, you see the terrace garden. You can also come, go out there, eat and drink uh, before the games. It's nice out there. And next, we're going to go down through Infinity, where the uh, Infinity Suites are. We have exactly 42 suites in this state. We'll go down and we'll see if I can get suite uh, number 30 and show you what the corporate suites look like.
this is one of our corporate suites. Like I said, we have uh, 42 corporate suites in the stadium, uh, accounting for also six party suites. Now, uh, the average on this type of size, a uh, corporation to lease them uh, three to five years or longer, if, if most likely. Uh, I know everyone that leased one at Turner Field, all they did was, like they were at Polk County Stadium, just moved across the street to Turner Field. Now they moved across the city over here to SunTrust Park. Uh, Delta Airlines, Coca-Cola, those type companies. Uh, now, like I said, we have a, a total of 42 suites in this stadium. Uh, capacity going anywhere from uh, 40 to 200 people, well, 300 people, depending on the size, party suites, whatever. But this is what our suites look like. Uh, they'll have, of course, set up for food, everything. They'll come in and get those catered and everything for this evening. And they can either sit in here. We've got two big screen TVs they can be watching. Uh, plus, there'll be closed circuit TVs on the outside. Uh, plus, they're seating on the outside also. But this is your corporate suites. Now, next we're going to go down to Monument Garden. Okay, guys, so this is called Monument Garden. All right, we're going to go up here. We're going to be able to see some of the uniforms of the franchises the Braves were in. Boston, of course, these first four. Uh, then the one, of course, the Blue Burdett, number 33, of Milwaukee Braves. And then the last uniforms were different ones of different teams in the Atlanta franchise. Now, we also have some of the awards, MVP, uh, Silver Slugger, Rookie of the Year, that type of thing. And below it, you'll see a list of the players that won those particular awards with one of the Braves uh, franchises. Now, on the right, you'll see, starting in the 1800s, different segments of the team in different years and different things that happened on those teams. And the pictures on the right going up uh, to the statue. On the left, you see the retired numbers in red. With the last one in blue, of course, number 42, Jackie Robinson. Jackie didn't play for the Braves, but to honor him as the first black ball player in the major leagues, all the teams have retired uh, number 42, Jackie's number. Now, you'll also see the Hank Aaron statue on the right that was uh, unveiled last week to Mr. Aaron. And to the left, you'll see 755 done in all Hank Aaron Louisville sluggers. Then as you go down, you'll see bats and gloves to your right. Those are Hall of Fame members at Cooperstown. They didn't necessarily go in as a Brave, but at some time in their careers, they played on one of the Braves franchise teams. Good example, Babe Ruth, of course, who finished his career with the Milwaukee Braves. You'll see a bat of Mr. Ruth. And further down, you'll see uh, some of the segments, of course, like Sid Breen's Brace, uh, the champagne bottle of the World Series, those type things. And at the end on the left, there's a big TV that you can push one of the Braves' retired numbers, and a segment will come up and tell you about that particular Brave and how he, his retired number was picked. Now, right over here to the right on the wall, we have the plaque. With getting Mr. Aaron anywhere, of course, right now, Mr. John Sherhold, who was the last one to be uh, brought into the Hall of Fame last season. And this season we'll have a new one who will add the flag of uh, this season of the new Hall of Fame member. And on the right, you'll also see the World Series trophy and all the National League trophies that the Braves have won during their franchise. Now, if you guys will follow me, like I said, take all the pictures you want. Uh, any questions?
he also became a successful Dugouts, they're having press conferences about the dugouts. What you can do if you want to run right around in here, take some pictures, that's fine. Then we'll go back through SunTrust, go up, we're going to go down to below the chop. Okay guys, right over here to my left, you see the tariff and tip, tap room, and right here to my right, first and third, hot dog and sausage shack. Those are open year round. It'll be open before the game. You can actually come in there early, get a beer, eat or whatever. Then when they open the stadium, you can come out here if you have your seat in the game. They'll put a wristband on you, allowing you to bring your beer out. One of the few facilities that's ever done that, Major League Baseball. Now, right over here to my right, you see Hope and Will Sandlot. The kids got the zip line, you got the tower they can climb. It's just crowded, and you say, oh, I wonder if that go on to your uh, app, baseball app, pull it up, and you can plug in a time that you can go in take your family in without having to wait in line. All right, you guys will follow me. Here we go. This is the end, I guess. I want to thank you guys for being the first tour at Sunrise Park. I hope you enjoyed the game. Come back to see us, take more tours, especially when the team is out of town. We'll, we'll be able to take you inside the clubhouse. That type of thing. There'll be more events. They can open for you when the team leaves. So, guys, thank you so much for coming, and please enjoy the game tonight. This is the first tour ever. This is the first tour ever. The first official tour of the state. First tour Thanks, ever. Thanks, guys. Y'all have a great time. Thank you so much. Thank you.